78MC planetary imaging camera. Uh, however, this review is going to be a little different. Um, I purchased this from a telescope company in California. Um, however, since I've gotten this thing, I've had nothing but problems with it. And it's not a bad camera per se. It does work. Uh, if you take this little, if you film it with the little 2.7 millimeter wide field view uh, uh, nose piece, it actually works fine. Um, but when you plug it into the telescope focuser, I can't achieve focus for some reason. So this review is going to be a little different. Um, it is a 6.4 megapixel camera. Um, it's highly sensitive to light and so that. So it does, it's supposed to pick up a lot, but unfortunately with this particular scope, I can't pick any up. Um, it comes with a USB cable and it comes with a ST4 guiding uh, cable so you can use it as an auto guider. Um, it does have a 1.25 uh, eyepiece, uh, not I mean nose piece, so you can stick it into the 1.25 uh, eyepiece uh, in your focuser. However, again, still it does not achieve focus. So, this video review that I'm doing is going to be basically telling you that if you own a Celestron C8N, I'm this thing ain't gonna work for you. There's no way you can achieve focus with this without cutting the optical tube and bringing up the primary mirror, which I would not recommend. This camera retails for about $400. I can tell you right now, at $400, this camera should have been a little bit shoot prime. I should have been able to attach it directly to this and had no problems with focusing. Um, I contacted the company ZWO and they couldn't even figure it out. Like they literally had no idea what I was talking about. So they basically just never responded back. So kind of disappointing um, for a company that's well known to basically just ignore my uh, email uh, and have no clue what I'm talking about. I say I can't achieve focus. Not to mention the 1.25 nose piece that it comes with. When you unscrew this, you can put this in and you're supposed to be able to set it right into your camera. But watch this. So someone told me, why don't you try using a Barlow lens and attach a Barlow lens to your uh, to the uh, little camera's uh, nose piece and then stick it into the telescope. Well, interesting enough, this is a 1.25. I can't even get the Barlow lens onto it. It won't even go on. So that means that's not 1.25. That's actually 1.26. So I couldn't use theirs. Luckily, I had a 1.25 uh, nose piece adapter that goes with my T-ring. Um, that fits right on there. So, that's one strike against them. The other option was to take the 2-inch eyepiece. Oh, when I, well, actually, when I did this, you know, put that on there with their or my nose piece, I still could not achieve focus with my telescope for some reason. So, someone suggested I use the 2-inch adapter which I did. I put the their nose piece on it and I put this in there because it does fit nicely in there. I screwed that down, stuck it in, I pulled this out and put my two inch eyepiece in there or adapter in there, still not able to achieve focus. So I don't really know. Oh, I have a few other things I tried too. I also tried uh, this extender which is adjustable um, I can actually pull this far out or in still can not achieve focus I also have one that's actually about this length in itself still could achieve focus so now this will make a nice uh, auto guiding uh, 
camera if you have a nice guide scope, but unfortunately for that price, no. You're better off getting the 120 uh, or the 224 MC and use that as a guide camera if you're going to spend that kind of money. You might as well just go something cheaper. So I'm very disappointed um, that I couldn't achieve focus with this. So this video is... Um, it's not a negative against the company because it's a well-known company and they do make some really amazing cameras and I've seen some images that this thing has produced so it does produce some good images unfortunately if you own a Celestron C8N um, it's not good. you're not going to be able to cheap focus for it uh, without you know altering your tube cutting your tube down a little or possibly moving the secondary mirror back or buying a different type of focuser which I'm not going to do I hear that these types of cameras are really not good for reflector telescopes. And anyways, they were actually designed more for refractors. Um, it doesn't mean you can't use them, but you just have to make sure when you get your telescope uh, that you, you're able to achieve focus. And also note that when you get the uh, 1.25 nose adapter that comes with this, if you have to use a Barlow lens, it ain't going to fit. So um, your best bet is to make sure you buy a T-ring adapter for your camera or for a, the 1.25 so if you have to put a Barlow lens on it you can. So that's pretty much it. Um, again I'm a little disappointed with the ZWO and it was a toss-up between ZWO and the other product um, a name brand called um, Altair. Altar, Altair. Um, it's a British company I believe out in the UK. Um, it's the same camera, so I'm not going to waste my time sending this back and going with them and getting one of theirs. Uh, unfortunately, it just it won't work. So, I mean, the other option would be for me to save this because I am planning on getting a refractor telescope in a few, probably a couple weeks. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I don't even know if that's going to work for it. So, um, I don't want to take a chance and hold this. So I'm just going to return it because um, it is a lot of money. It's a shame. I mean, I thought about using that thing for the camera for a guide scope, but not that price. I'm going to basically, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to return this and get the 120MC and use that one as a guide camera. But no, nah, I'm not going to do that. That's kind of stupid. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I don't recommend this camera. Um, unless, like I said, if you have this type of scope. Um, if you have a different type of scope, you want to take a chance with it knock yourself out um, I personally won't probably get it again if I ever buy one of these again it'll probably be for like I said using it as a guide camera uh, you know attaching it to a guide scope that would be about the most I do with it um, I won't attempt to use it for imaging because as I can see I've tested this many different ways to try to achieve focus and I couldn't achieve focus so that's pretty much it so thanks for watching please subscribe and um, clear skies